Hello all you YouTubers out there on YouTube, my name is Comic Kid, and welcome back to another Comic Fandemonium, and today, I'm going to be talking about my new favorite show, Powerless. Oh yes, I'm talking DC Nation, I'm talking Superman, Batman, Flash, Wonder Woman, I'm going all out with this. Uh, but I'm just going to let you know right now that, uh, I will hopefully be doing a rant about certain comic book characters soon. Like, the ones I just listed. So anyway, so let's get into Powerless. Powerless has a bunch of DC references that I can name so many, but I'm only going to name a few in this episode. Okay. So, first start off out with this woman who wants to make a difference. She work, goes to work for uh, Wayne Corp. Yes, Bruce Wayne. I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. She goes to, uh, I can't remember the city, but, um, it's like where a bunch of superheroes have their battles. Pretty epic. But anyway, um, I did notice a bunch of references in it. Like, a lot of references. They have anti-Joker toxin, they call out Shazam, and Wayne. Wayne Corp. Or Wayne Technology, as I should say. So anyway... Let's dive in. So the boss of the of the woman is um, Bruce Wayne's cousin, which I kind of like that it's a little twist on it. And um, yeah, it turns out the cousin of Bruce Wayne wants to impress Bruce Wayne and tell everybody, "Oh, Bruce Wayne's my cousin. And I I have all these special privileges. I can get off, get out with so many bad deeds and whatnot." But anyway, um. Yeah, I especially like the opening scene when they had all these uh, flashbacks of, like, comic books. Like, you see Batman, like, he's battling a monster, he's, like, doing this. And then you see, like, um, a cartoon version of the main character is, like, just doing this. And then this. And then a little of this. And I just loved it so much because it made so many superhero references. And it was so cool how they mentioned this. And I kind of looked into future episodes. There's one where they're going to go to Atlantis and another where basically yeah, yeah, deal with Green Lantern's identity, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, I really like this uh, TV show. I just... Love the characters, love the comedy, loved it all. It was so awesome. And at the end of the episode, they said, hmm, Batman made one of his own? Like, they made this special gadget that it detects a supervillain's sense, I guess. So they say, huh, he made one of those? I wish I worked for him. And that is what I love about Powerless. It, it just... It just makes so many homages to the superheroes I grew up with. It, it gives so many cool references. And I especially loved how they referenced uh, Shazam. Shazam is one of my favorite characters. Maybe I'll do a review on him. Who knows? But anyway. Sorry, bad bird. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I love the series. I hope you liked it if you did watch it. And yeah, um, so this is going to be a normal video, yeah, and next time I will probably be doing a review on some new movies that are coming out, some movies that I kind of like, so yeah, and uh, tell me in the comments down below if you watched Powerless and what was your favorite uh, kind of homage to a superhero you liked in the series, or in the show, I mean, sorry. So anyway, uh, as I always say, uh, my last video was right here, my other video is right there, and here, right there, is my subscribe button, because I really need those subscribers, so check out my channel, see how you like it, and with a comic good goodbye, bye!